Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a gunplay review of the 1 to 100 scale, Full Mechanics Barbatos Lupus, the main mobile suit that serves as Tekaden's White Wolf in Season 2 of Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. I'll tell you right now, despite the new Full Mechanics branding, this is more or less the same type of no grade 1 to 100 scale kit that was seen with the Gundam IBO Season 1 releases. As such, you'll be treated to 11 main plastic runners, a set of polycaps, and a relatively small sticker sheet. The build of the Lupus is very similar to the previous 100 scale Barbatos. You assemble the inner frame first, then stack armor onto it. In fact, the inner frame is almost identical save for a few changes like the feet and wrist extensions. The armor is entirely new though. It's a familiar build. I enjoyed it massively then, and I still had plenty of fun with it here. Straight assembly complete and you're presented with arguably the best representation of the Barbatos Lupus to date. It perfectly captures the look of the on-screen Gundam with its fierce proportions, sharp sculpting, and thorough use of parts and color separation. The shoulder pad logos are especially nice. Stickers are only present in the form of the green knee pad logos and yellow shoulder highlights, both of which can easily be replaced with paint. There's no missing detail that I could spot and no seamline coverage needed either. In all honesty, I would be more than happy to display it as is, right out of the box. On the other hand, I will admit that the Lupus can be seen as overly white. However, all the armor plates have intense etching to them and a basic panel line or black wash will undoubtedly do wonders for the kit's presentation. You can also detail up the exposed sections of the inner frame and from a personal opinion, I've always felt that the IBO kits seem to look more natural with a weathered touch. The Lupus stands at just under the 8.5 inch mark, making it slightly taller than the original 1 to 100 scale Barbatos. However, the kit's bulkier design makes him seem much larger. Articulation starts with a ball socket neck. There's a waist swivel and torso crunch with working pistons. The shoulder pads are on a separate hinge and the outer plate can extend for extra arm range. The arms are connected by a ball socket. The shoulders have their own joint. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and ball socket wrists. Front and side hip skirts have some minimal movement to them. Hips are connected on a T-bar. The hips themselves are on universal joints. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball socket ankles with ankle rockers, and a toe bend. Articulation is good, although the longer forearms and lower legs limit posing on the extreme end. Accessories start with an additional pair of hands in the gripping style and the mobile suit's main weapon, the sword mace. The sword mace is large, though quite basic. There's a tab in the weapon that corresponds with the hands and together they ensure a secure grip. Next are a pair of 200mm guns. These get mounted on the Gundam's forearms. They're on a track and can slide down and swivel when deployed. However, they can obstruct certain poses due to their awkward size. Last is a pair of subarms for additional weapons to be deployed by the backpack. This is actually a holdover idea from the previous 100 scale Barbatos, and they don't really serve a purpose here. I love the Barbatos Lupus. I would even go as far as saying that it's one of my favorite, if not most favorite, Gundam design. At the same time, I've come to appreciate and thoroughly enjoy the no grade 1 to 100 scale lineup of Gundam IBO model kits over the past year. And so, I think it's no surprise that I absolutely adore the 1 to 100 Gundam Barbatos Lupus. It's got a fun build, great presentation, and a solid feature set. From start to finish, it's an excellent model kit. That said, Bandai did release this as their premier 1 to 100 full mechanics model kit, so I was expecting something new here. Well, there wasn't, and if I'm honest, I found that really disappointing. Renaming an entire lineup without introducing new aspects just seems hollow. Don't get me wrong, I love this kit, and it is without doubt the best 1 to 100 Barbatos to date. But if you want something new with fresh ideas, the 1 to 100 Full Mechanics Barbatos Lupus won't satiate your needs. Anyways, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'm getting a sense that vengeance is just over the horizon.